Hi everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you a holiday uh, or a New Year's Eve look for hooded eyes. Now I have hooded eyes. I was trying for a long time how to, how to put my eye eyeshadows on on my eyelids so that my eyes don't look tired and don't look like heavy. So this is a look that I really think it's it's fabulous and fantastic and I really like it and I will wear it on um, New Year's Eve, probably. So I really want to share you some of my tips and I hope you like it. And uh, if you want to see how I did this look, please uh, keep on watching. And first of all, don't forget to subscribe. Hi and welcome back. Um, before we start, I have already my foundation and everything else. My foundation, my powder, concealer, everything else is finished, we just need to do the eyes. Now, um, yeah, I will use this, uh, these 18 new colors from Makeup Geek. Yeah, so let's come closer and uh, begin. I said that I forg forgot to film. I'm sorry for that. Like I said, first I took this bake sale into the crease and then I took these tan lines over also into the crease and then I just and I took these two colors a little bit above the crease if you can see and then the dark one called Cabin Favor I took with this brush uh, E25 from uh, Sigma and slowly blend that into the crease I blend that into the crease and not uh, trying not to take that too high up and of course now I took this epic from Makeup Geek this wonderful green and I uh, took a little bit of this Fix Plus on the brush just to make that foiled color pop up and what I did is that I took that color in center of my eyelid and slowly tapping that all over my eyelid not going high uh, too high up just concentrate on this center now when I think I have enough color on the center of my eye. I don't take more eye eyeshadow on my brush. I just slant, s slightly uh, blend upwards. Now I want more, more color. Then I take more of this eyeshadow. And don't straightly go into the lid. Just first take the, the brush to the center a little bit of the color and then slowly to take is this uh, I, I might make up E144 brush it's a blending brush but but a little bit pointier and I take this darker color again cabin fever and try to blend that into my crease I will take uh, Sigma E25 again in the same cabin fever color and blend that one too. Now I will take this color canvas. No, I think I will take nectar. This one nectar. 
on this pointing blending brush and blend that above or under my eyebrow. My camera is kind of making fun of me and just shutting down a couple of times so I took this bake cell color and just uh, blend it under my eye and after I did that I took this cabin fever and blend it too just under my eye and then I took um, eyeliner and I did a thin eyeliner just because because I have hooded eyes if I will take a strong big eyeliner then it will take so much space on my eyelid my eyes will look small and it wouldn't look good so it's important if you have hooded eyes to take a, if you want eyeliner to take that line just above your eyelashes a thin one now you can take it more outside if you like a cat look okay can you, you can do that and then i took this uh, eyeshadow palette again, took nectar and just cleaned this uh, line with that color, this one. And then I took this color palette again under my eyebrow just to highlight it up. And now I will take these uh, jelly pom pom eyelashes. I never tried this before uh, and it will be interesting to see how this look looks with this. And I took this black glue for my eyelashes. I'm sorry, my my battery just died, so I had to change it. Now I have my eyelashes on, and they feel a little bit heavy, and they don't look they do look plastic, but they're they're okay. Uh, now I will take mascara that I'm trying out. The one, let me see, there is it. The one it's called Instant Extension Mascara. And let's take that one. Let's clean everything up so it looks good. clean up uh, this face and put some lipstick on and uh, see how it looks. Now you can choose whatever lipstick you want. Now we'll probably take a metallic red but uh, let's try and see how this look looks with a nude color. And I will try this lipstick MDM Flow and I will use this uh, Flormar waterproof lip lip liner It's a wonderful color, but I'll probably use a um, metallic one. So this is how it looks with this lipstick. Let's put down my hair. Now let's try this with 
Amtarik. Now we try with this metallic, uh, a more metallic lip cream from uh, Milani, Madeline Love 06. And this is what I like. Like I said before, it's important when you put the first transforming color on your eyelid to take it a little bit above your crease. And the, the other color, just one or two shades darker, uh, also blend it just a little bit above your crease so you make your eyes deeper and bigger and then you take a third color darker and just blend that into your crease a little little not as high as you blended these two first color just a little bit into it so and just try to make that harsh line disappear and then you take whatever color you want on your eyelids and um, that's really important and the one the other thing that i think is very important is to take if you want that eyeliner, I often don't wear eyeliners just because it makes my eye... Uh, first, I, I can't see without my glasses to put some eyeliner on. Uh, but when you, if you choose to have an eyeliner, uh, try to make it as thin as possible. So if you make it a thick eyeliner, it will take all of your eyelid and you won't see your actual color that you have on your eyelid. So it's important that it's as thin as possible. Um, yeah, I hope you like this look and uh, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Bye!